Well, the words back to school have been ringing in our ears in recent weeks. For students, it means this is the time of year to mail in a very large tuition payment. Rising tuition and student loan debt has become a serious issue for many students. For perspective on the problem and some possible solutions, we're joined by U.S. Bank senior equity strategist Jim Russell. Jim, good to have you with us. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. So, student loan debt is larger than credit card debt? It's amazing. Uh, the only loan categories that are growing over the last couple of years are auto loans and student loans. A lot of folks have taken the last several years to pay down credit card debt, all kinds of mortgage debt, et cetera. Student loans continue to be a, a, an area that, that people struggle with. Is that putting it out of reach for a lot of families? It, absolutely it is, and there are several different, different ways to go about uh, solving that problem. Uh, but it, it, clearly, college is becoming a little bit more elusive for most families. Um, a, a trillion dollars in student loan debt is a bit daunting for uh, the country. Much of this debt is defaulted on. I will tell you there's a continued demand, though, for the college education. 3.5% is the unemployment rate for four-year graduates of college. Right now, the national unemployment rate is 7.3. But it's very clear, Brian, that college is pricing itself out of reach. Now, it seems to have intensified in the recent years. What is the root of this problem? Yeah, there are a couple of different reasons why that is the case. The federal government has tried to play a constructive role. But we can see here in the blue line, these are college costs since 1980. They're up enormously. And you can see the median family uh, wage there in the red line. And you can see the gap represents really the struggle since 1980 that most families families face. Now, you can see that the gap has actually widened here in recent years for two reasons. Number one, uh, the federal government is uh, subsidizing uh, uh, in lesser of a way, fewer checks, the checks are smaller, public uh, colleges such as University of Cincinnati, Ohio State, etc. Secondly, the endowments of many colleges really took a hit in the financial crisis, so the colleges themselves are unable really to provide uh, much in the way of cost reduction. So this is a, a daunting problem, no question. And isn't college education becoming very competitive? You see all these colleges with offices on the interstate where they're visible, and many of them for profit? We do think the times are changing there, there's no question about about it, there are some possible solutions that we see out there regarding closing the gap, making uh, college and college-like type education affordable. There's no question that college will only be one of many solutions available to families for higher education. Pay as you earn, meaning capping uh, the uh, uh, the student loan payments to 10% of a postgraduate's uh, wages, uh, for-profit. Uh, uh, online universities, as you'd mentioned, there are going to be many other uh, college models that do not include a stay on campus for your kind of model in the, in the years ahead. But I think we will see are many things that you just mentioned, more online opportunities. And I think we'll also see over the next 10 to 15 years, many colleges actually going out of business, something a little bit new. So something to watch as we move forward. But the technology that is available to the students, to the universities globally, I think will, will really um, result in a variety of changes and perhaps a lower cost as well. All right, Jim Russell, we appreciate you and U.S. Bank. Thank good, you. Good to be with you.